what's up guys I'm Chelsea and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and if you haven't hi I'm Chelsea and welcome to my channel this is like a little door filming area since I'm sitting on the ground in my room because I just felt like switching it up a little bit it's 2018 why not honestly <laughs> the filming setup that I have is ridiculous right now. I have a trash can and then I have a fishbowl and then I have a combination of books and dear lord. But yeah, so it's a collection of books, fishbowl, trash can, ring light. There's a lot of things going on right now. So <laughs> welcome to my channel. Also welcome to my jungle. It's not even a part of it. Um, if you don't know me, I'm obsessed with plants. I have 42 currently in my apartment right now and I'm a plant mom and I'm obsessed. So a couple of people also, this is just a side note. First, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. There will be more videos coming, but they'll also include different things like my plants and my lifestyle and fashion and whatnot. And two, everyone who does follow me on Instagram sees on Insta stories how much I love plants, how much I go plant shopping and the types of plants I do have. So if you'd like to see a plant haul, let me know because I'd love to film that and talk to you about my plants, where I got them from, how long I've had them, and where they started and where they are now. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see a plant tour, if you two are a plant mom or dad, and if you enjoy any of these products that I use today. Or if you use them in a different way and you're like, bruh, this would work so much better for you. And that's perfect okay so this is more of like just like a chit chat kind of get ready with me thing because I'm going to an art show tonight I think it's an art show can you hear my landlords downstairs they are my neighbors downstairs are just living life to the fullest cackling I'm using the uh, Lano the Lano Lynn Golden Dry Skin Solve. This is in Super Intense. If you guys do not use this, you are missing out. It's amazing. So this whole thing is like 24 bucks, but it is 1.76 ounces. It lasts forever, you need the tiniest amount. And I use it at night as my lip hydration, as my overnight mask. It's amazing. And there's only three things in it. It's quadruple lanolin, vitamin E, and manuka honey. And it's 100% natural. I highly, highly recommend it. If you have dry lips, like super, super, super dry lips, or just anything on your body, you can use it all over, but I just use my lips, then definitely get this stuff. It's amazing. All right, so to start, I'm actually going to wipe off the little bit of concealer that I have on. And the reason I have concealer on is because this morning I had a casting for Fashion Week. So I have a nice little planet right here, which is like, whatever, it's all good, it happens. It's, it's happened to everyone, literally everyone. So I covered that up a little bit just before the casting. Um, and that's all I have on is my brows and then a little bit of concealer here. And then I think I have another one right here, right? Yeah. So I wanted to, yeah, just like cover that up. Oh, and I also have products I kind of just wanted to talk about too that I'm really enjoying and liking and been using a lot. Ow. Do you ever have one of those zits that literally just hurts so bad? And you're like, dude. Okay, I brightened up the light just a little bit because I feel like I was looking a little dim and grim. I wouldn't really put anything on if I was going out, to be honest, because I my skin's fine. I don't really need that much makeup, but it's not so fun to play with it. So to start, I'm going to start with the Urban Decay, Urban Decay, Urban Decay Quickie Fix Hydra Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. Okay, so I had a casting this morning. It was, okay. In general, the casting itself was fine. It was not a big deal. The only thing that was unfortunate was that you, I had to stand outside with all the other models that were casting too because there's too many models inside. So I just stand outside like, for an hour and it was so cold the feels like degree so it was 20 degrees but the feels like was 12 or 11 and I was closer to the water at that point in the city so it was freezing it was so cold but I'm using the j1 jelly pack primer 
this primer is phenomenal absolutely amazing I love it so much I try to use it sparingly just on the places that I know I'll need it because I love it that much literally I highly recommend it I know it's expensive but you do get 1.69 fluid ounces of it which is a really decent amount so I think as long as you use it and don't overuse it then it should last you a good amount of time. Casting itself up well. And then I came home and I cleaned my apartment and then I repotted my plants. So if you guys don't know, my birthday was last Sunday, January 28th. And it was amazing, it was the best birthday of my entire life. And as gifts, I got multiple different plants because my friends know me very well. So for a foundation, I'm using the Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation and Stick Concealer, and this is in number nine, Sandalwood. I really like these foundation sticks. The only thing I would mention is they do run a little bit red, making me look slightly orange, so I do have to like lighten it up with a more neutral. See that? It's a little orange for me. But I do like the actual stick. So, trade-off, you know, that's the definite trade-off. And to blend it in, I'm using the Heavenly Skin Brush by A Cosmetics. It looks like this. Um, and my friends got me plants, so I made sure that I repotted them. <laughs> because you're not supposed to keep your plants in those plastic planters that a lot of them come in. For, first of all, forever. Some people do think that they can leave them forever because then the roots start growing down and they become impacted. And then, because they're trying to you know, grow and they try to, uh, some, like a, for example, like a Welfin, a Santavaria Welfin, they literally can break through those plastic containers. So it's best to move them to either a really tough, like, plastic container or terracotta. All my plants are in terracotta unless they're brand new or, you know, they're new, but they're, plan, they're on the plan to replant list. Like I usually get a plant and I leave it in its planter, whatever planter it came in, for up to two months in my apartment. So the plant can get used to the air to my apartment. Do you see my eyebrows just coming right off? Being a little, this brush is a little bit big though for between the brows, that's why. Let me get my eyebrow brush, my eyebrow pencil. I'm using Precisely My Brow from Benefit in number five. But yeah, so I keep my plants in those, whatever pot it comes in for about a month or two months. So it can acclimate to the climate and the air in my apartment. And that way it doesn't go too much of a shock because plants literally can go into shock and die if too much change happens at one time. So I try to limit that chance by leaving them alone and letting them acclimate by themselves. And then I repot them. Generally, I don't usually repot in the winter, but some of these plants were already so big from when they were purchased from either the store or wherever my friends got them that I was like, I need to re repot these, like I know that. And to set my brows, I'm using the Sephora gel Sourcils Structurant Brow Builder. What is, what is the name? It's a name. And this is a number six soft charcoal. It looks like this. It's actually really nice. The only thing I don't love about it is so much product clumps up on this on the bristles of this brush that it can really make your brows look way over packed with product if you don't wipe it off. So that's just something to note. So that's really it for the face after the foundation. So the foundation's done. And then for concealers, I mix two for underneath my eyes. So I use medium in both of these brands. It's a Tarte Shape Tape Medium and then the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer Medium. Um, they have different undertones. So I like using both of them. And honestly, just a dabble too. Yeah, you don't need a lot. Let's I don't need a lot. So 
put that on there and I'm also gonna spot conceal this bad boy and for that one I'm using tan by Tarte Shape Tape this spot conceal there and this little guy Ugh. it's that time of the month breaking out super annoying these are my real techniques <laughs> body blender this thing's amazing if you guys don't have it you should I love it so much because it is able to get right in under your eye and get really close to the inner corner of your eye if you need to and also just like blends out a lot faster I feel see that's really nice it blends the two shades blend together perfectly and the consistencies work amazingly together I'm just going to lightly blend that spot conceal in. Same with that one. And then I take my brush with the foundation on it and I just push that in. Okay. And really quickly I'm going to set my under eyes and I'm using Wilder. And this is in light medium. So anyway, back to my plans. Yeah, so that's what I do for my plans. So it's just repotting some of them. And then, now I'm here, getting ready. But also, happy 2018. I know I've not made a video since it's been 2018. But, such is life. We all got stuff going on. So, here we are. You know guys, I'm on here when I'm on here. And I'm not when I'm not. <laughs> But, do you guys make any resolutions? Have you like stuck with your resolutions? Which is awesome if you haven't. Hey, there's always time to like get back to it. So, literally no sweat on that. And yeah, I don't really make resolutions. Also, please let me know down below what you'd like to see on this channel from me. Like I said, if you'd like to see more of my lifestyle, fashion, plants, and more of the art side of me, please let me know because I'd love to film that. That's the base makeup. I'm going to pop on some bronzer and I have the Anastasia Power Bronzers. If you guys have tried these, comment below, let me know. I'm actually going to use one as a contour and then the other one as a bronzer. So for contour, I'm going to use Mahogany. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. It's story of my life. This is Mahogany. It's beautiful. And I mean, wow, kickback, hello. Oh my gosh, kickback, hello. This is the number 49. This is technically an angled blush brush, but I like to use these blushes for my contour from Sephora. So I'm just gonna place that into my contour and just start blending upward. Okay, so so far 2018, it's been really great. I have some exciting projects that I'm working on. I can't talk about yet, but I'm excited about them. And I'm, I really feel like this year for all of us is gonna, going to be a really good year. No matter where it started, how it started, what it looks like when it started, any time, place, location, whatever, you can always turn around your year. And it's up to you to do that. And that's, I think that's something I've learned is you can't depend on certain, you know, your current circumstances don't dictate your future. If you don't let it dictate your future. So I'm excited for this year. I think it will be a very growing and transformative year. And I wish the same to you guys. Wow, that's really pretty. It doesn't pull too, too red, which honestly a lot of contour colors do pull really red on me, and I know it's a bronzer, but just in general, contour colors usually pull red on me. They make me look a little bit orange, or they pull extremely gray and I look dead. So there's an AKA no happy medium. For bronzer, I'm using the lighter shade, and this is Tawny, which I'm really excited about this. And using the Marc Jacobs the bronze brush. 
see what else is going on. I don't really have any trips planned right now. I'm really wanting to go to South Korea. My friend's brother lives there and it's nice always going somewhere and having someone that either knows you or you know through a friend. So hopefully my friend, her cousin, and myself can all go and we'll get to hang out with her brother and his friends and hopefully make friends, of course, while we're there, which would be so fun. So that's one trip I'm really looking forward to and I really hope it happens this year. We were supposed to go last year or two years ago, it just didn't work out. So I'm hoping it works out this year. Pretty. Oof, I love this bronzer, it's gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna put on a liquid <laughs> highlighter and I'm using Hello Halo from Wet n Wild in Goddess Glow. I am completely obsessed with these bronzers, or what are you saying, bronzers and or blush, with these highlighters. They're so fantastic and so pigmented. Ugh, and they're just literally just gorgeous. So. I, you see, and they're $4.99, are you kidding me? Get out of here. They're so good. If you see these around, I highly recommend. But I will say they do dry down a little fast, so I usually put one side of my face on at a time, instead of dotting it around my whole face, just because I'm dry, and then, you know what I mean. It's no point after that point. I'm really blessed. Like last year, 2017 for me was a great year. I traveled more than I feel like I've ever traveled in my entire life. Granted, it was focused mainly in the United States, but still, traveling is traveling, and I couldn't feel more blessed that I was able to do it. Um, and I met amazing people this year. It just all together, between friends, family, loved ones, relationships, it was an amazing year. And I'm, I feel so blessed that that was that's a part, of my, a part of my story and a part of my life. So I'm just so expectant for 2018. Also, don't come for my roots. Judy's coming over on Friday to help finish up redoing my hair because this really does take a team. Even though I usually do it by myself all the time, it's the first time I'm getting someone to help me because your girl needs it. And again, I'm using the Real Techniques Body Blender. And I'm just pluffing that into the skin and blending it out. All right, I'm just gonna set that really fast with, honestly, whatever highlighter is left on this highlighter brush. I'm not trying to beam to space tonight. I'm just wanting to look glowy. That's great, that's that. And then, Finishing touches for blush, I'm using Snapdragon from Becca. Looks like this. I love this blush. I've recently fallen in love with it. So the love is new, but I understand why when people talk about this blush. And then I will lightly buff that into the highlighter. Let's make more of like a fun pink moment. All right, I'm just gonna set my face really quick. And I'm just using the Dewy Finish Mist from NYX. Sorry, my camera died. So honestly, the only thing you missed was that I put mascara on. I used the Marc Jacobs uh, Velvet Noir mascara. My current favorite mascara, this I've been using, this is my second bottle. That's how much I love it. It's amazing and makes my lashes look like this, so. <laughs> and to finish off the look, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Lip Glowith. And that'll be that. All right, 
right, well that's it for today's look. A little get ready with me, chit chat, and also testing out some new products. I really, really like these bronzers. Really, really like these powder bronzers. So I highly suggest going out and grabbing these. And they are just the powder bronzer for face and body. It creates a natural matte, traceless finish for buildable coverage. And the colors I used were mahogany for my contour and tawny for the actual bronze on my face. Love that. Everything else I've used. That's what I've been using. These have been my favorite products. I'm getting that weird pizum when you like a little bit put like a little bit too much lip gloss on. Anyway, um, yeah, these are the current project products I've been loving using when I do <laughs> makeup. Honestly, the only time I do makeup <clears throat> um, is for a tutorial, filming for you guys, or a photo shoot. So. <laughs> And currently it's the only time I do makeup. Other than that, I usually have no makeup on other than my brows. So it's always fun to, like, to put makeup on and get ready for a night out, even though we're just going to an art show. So no biggie. Other than that, again, don't forget to comment below what you'd want to see from this channel. Let me know if you like that plant tour. Please subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you are aware of every time I post a video. And again, guys, I wish you the best 2018. I'm so glad that this is, I'm back, and this is the first video of 2018, and I can't wait to film some more footage and stuff. I don't know why I said footage. Just film more stuff for you guys. So until next time, guys.